Hey everyone, this is London Bridge Bricks. In this review, I'm taking a butcher's at set number 43185, Boom's Boat. Now this set came out during 2021 and is part of the first wave of Disney's Raya and the Last Dragon. It comes with 247 parts and retails in the US for $45 and here in the UK at £45, but I managed to pick it up at 25% discount. So that's the brief, let's dive in and take a closer look. Now, firstly, I want to say I absolutely love the colours of this box. Now, I recently built uh, the Jungle Dragon from Ninjago, and that teal and the gold I thought then looked amazing. And I think it's going to look really good in this set as well. I'm liking the look and feel of it as well. It's all kind of like a South Asian mythology meets uh, meets friends, where with an added kind of spice of Ninjago and a bit of Monkey Kid sprinkled in there as well. Now, I've not actually seen the movie. If you have, then please do let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. But here we kind of get a glimpse of. The, of the kind of reimagined world where Naya kind of lives. Now the art around it is of course of huts and stilts kind of perched above the water, uh, looking very kind of interlocked and neighborly. Um, and we've got these two side builds here. First we've got this kind of pontoon here with kind of where, where is uh, selling fish or particular types of fish as well. And then down here, uh, we've got a, another kind of, well, it's kind of like a makeshift uh, stall really. It's, it's nothing more than a canoe uh, with a barrel on it there, uh, selling bananas. And then the, the main reason I actually got this set, because I think it absolutely, brilliant. I think it's awesome looking and it's called Boone's Boat or possibly more appropriately called a sampan. But anyway, like the other two builds, it's used for selling. And in this case, of course, it's shrimps given away by the fact you've got this giant shrimp there sprawled right across the roof of the boat. Inside the boat, we've got the two kind of lead characters, I guess we could say for this particular set, uh, with Boone here at the back. And then down the front here, we've got Sisu in a human form. Now I like the way as well uh, with this box art, you've got the, the Lego sets there just reflected in the water. I don't know, I really like that. I think that gives it a little bit of depth. Uh, and then over here in the bottom right hand corner, uh, we've got the, the, the Disney logo there of Rhea and the Last Dragon. Okay, so that's the front. Let's take a spin it round uh, and take a look at the back, shall we? So over here, we've got these little cheeky chappies just here in the canoe there. It's of course Uka Pan. Uh, and the taller one there being dying. I think it looks pretty cool, don't they? Uh, and then we've got some other shots over here of the pontoon as well. They've got the cheeky uh, ongis, uh, as they refer to. I thought they were monkeys at first, but apparently according to Disney Wikipedia, uh, these are actually called ongis, and it's kind of like a, a cross between a monkey and a catfish. So I can't actually see a lot of catfish going on there, um, but of course it's Disney and Lego. So I'm just gonna go along with it. And then over here, we've got a couple more action shots there. It looks like we've got uh, some features as well there in the back. It looks like a little bit of storage down there in the front of the actual boat itself. And then over here, we've got Boone there at the front uh, holding a fish. And down the back there, we've got uh, Sisu there studying the map of Kumandra. But I'm liking the patterns that they've used here for the borders. I think they look really, really good. Uh, along the top here, we've got the names of the figures as well. Let me just turn that around. There you go, and there they are there. We have Ika, Pan, Diane, Boone, and Sisu. And like I said, this is her in her human form. So that's the outside of the box. Let's open it up and see what we get on the inside, shall we? Okay, so inside the box then we've got two loose bags of Lego, bag number one. With lots of interesting looking elements in that. Bag number two as well. Got some nice till parts in that, by the looks of it. And we've got this uh, loose canoe as well. It's looking pretty good. Nice pearl gold there. And we've got the instruction manual as well. Let's take a little look at that, shall we? Let's take a look at the back. It might actually show us some details of the other sets that come out as well. There we go there. There's the other sets that are coming out in this wave. Looking pretty good. And then of course, we've got ourselves a very colorful looking sticker sheet. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? So anyway, that's the contents looked at. Let's build it and see what we think of it. So if you used to ask me a couple of weeks ago that I was gonna build this set and then review it, I would have said probably no. But I was so taken by the actual look of the main build 
I thought to myself, yeah, I'm gonna buy that and I'm gonna review it, and I have. <laughs> and it was everything that I wanted it to be. It was colorful, fun, and there's a few good little techniques in there as well. So anyway, let's start off with the smallest uh, uh, boat, shall we? Which is this, I mean, really, it's a, it's, a, it's a fancy canoe, in all honesty, that happens to sell bananas. It's a canoe with a barrel on it, which is a bit strange, but it kind of works at the same time as well. Anyway, there's your, there's your Lego banana there, which actually looks quite real to life, in all honesty, albeit a bit small. Uh, the, the, the one thing that does give this canoe away is being a bit of Friends-esque kind of set of these pink slopes that we've got here. Over here, we've got this flag as well. It's got this pretty decent looking sticker. I know it's kind of like almost like a, a monkey kid kind of colorations there, but with hints of friends about it as well. I do like the stickers on this set. There's a lot of them. Now the trickiest stickers that I had to apply in all of this set was on this, on this canoe. Where you've got this crease here, the canoe, you had to get the actual sticker lined up perfectly with it. Now, thankfully, they kind of give you some little markers on there, uh, albeit it's all kind of part and parcel of the design to kind of help you apply it dead center. And it kind of works pretty well, and I like that. But this particular color, the pearl gold, I think it's the biggest Lego piece that I've got that is actually just fully pearl gold. And I do like that, I really do. It didn't necessarily need the stickers, but they do kind of add a little bit of texture to it, don't they? So anyway, let's pop the banana back in the barrel and pop him over there next to the mini dolls. So next up then, we've got this, the pontoon, a very colorful pontoon indeed. We've got the lovely colored water here, kind of very nice, vibrant, almost turquoise here. Uh, we've got a bit of a strange colored fish there, but it looks pretty good, doesn't it? And then you've got this one here, it looks more like a koi carp. I can, I can see that, it's like a goldfish. Got some lovely stickers there as well. And there is a lot of stickers on this particular one as well. But I will say again, just like the canoe, it kind of adds to it as well. You've got all the, the kind of produce there that you can buy from there. And I love the bunting on this. And this is a thing that you get on the main build as well. You get this bunting on there, which I really, really like. Uh, we've got another poster there of, I don't know, whatever it is. It could be some chicken or fish with skewers or something like that. And then we've got this pot of skewered food down there as well. I really like it. It's kind of colorful. I love the cherry blossom on here. Yeah, it was just really nice to put together. It's got some really big parts to it as well, especially with these column sections here. Not really too much going on on the back there. And then on top here, we've got this kind of canopy there. It's kind of a, a weaved uh, green leaf canopy, which I think looks really, really good. So the main build. Now, I really like this kind of style of boat. In my city, actually, I went there in Lagondon, there's gonna be a kind of Ninjago area. Um, and joining that with the main city itself is gonna be uh, obviously London Bridge as well. It's kind of what's gonna join the two sections together. That is of course when I get around to build them. And I'm gonna want kind of waterways and stuff like that. And I'm collecting some different boats at the moment. But this boat I just found was so striking in all the colors of it and everything like that. So starting off at the back of it, you've got this rudder here uh, that Boone would normally hold to kind of steer it, and maybe paddle it a little bit. And then down the back here, uh, which is where you kind of stand up, you've got these kind of really striking, I think I'm pretty certain to say they're Ninjago pieces as well that kind of go there. It kind of adds to the kind of oriental Asian feel about it. And then as we kind of move through and across it, uh, you kind of got the, the boat kind of widens out there with these great big kind of wedgie slopes as well, which I think look really, really good. We've got this kind of clever kind of, um, I don't know, I was gonna say, because they're smaller shrimps, they're prawns, but you've got this kind of uh, prawn kind of looking uh, thing here using this bright kind of yellowy, it's a funny color actually, it's kind of like a sort of, a, almost like a sort of tangerine yellow uh, croissant that we've got there as well. And inside here, we've got all sorts of uh, kind of storage solutions going on there. They look really good. Again, another sticker there, so you can see the shrimps in there. We've got the, the teapot here, Master, we would absolutely love that. We've got some stickers there as well that were used for the rug uh, and on top of that particular box as well. And it kind of all adds to it. It kind of, you know, it's not a particularly big boat by any means, but there's a lot going on in what you can see. Over here, we've got this basket here as well. You've got um, you've got so all sorts of bits and pieces in there as well. That, that got this uh, little sticker there, which I think is kind of like a like rice cakes or something like that, which is all really nice. And if, um, if I just grab that, what that does do as well is lifts up and you've got yourself some storage there to store some other fish or something like that. 
And around the front here, we've got this uh, basket as well. It's got this like kind of little fish, uh, starfish in there. I think that may be or some sort. Uh, and then at the front, of course, we've got the uh, we've got the flag showing the shrimps as well. And again, another stick up. It was easy enough to apply. And then coming back here to the center section, um, we've got we've got three massive great big elements going on here first of all we've got these turquoise columns here which has got these lovely stickers that do go on them uh, you've got the kind of woven effect and again got the feature there of that bunting as well which i absolutely love and then the only different one that's on there is on this one here where it kind of shows you on the menu of what he's got there on his shrimp emporium and in the actual roof we've got this olive green going on these like lovely great big kind of long slopes. And I've not seen this much olive green in a set uh, since I built the Parisian restaurant, which is an absolutely gorgeous set. But then of course the star of this actual feature of this boat is this great giant shrimp on top of it. It's absolutely massive, it really is. And then at the top here, we've got these two little stickers as well, which because of the coloration of it all and everything like that, it kind of really pops, it really kind of sticks out. And that's kind of made up with these kind of, I don't know, almost armored pieces they are. And then you've got this kind of clamshell and the back of it, which I think looks really good. Got a couple of whips there at the front, uh, making up the kind of sensors uh, for the shrimp. And you've got these kind of two black balls there that kind of make up his eyes as well. I think it looks really good. Now this is the actual sticker sheet itself, which is pretty much spent. There was quite a few stickers on it, but like I said, just like kind of monkey kid sets really, the stickers are very vibrant and they do add quite a lot to the actual sets. But for this particular boat itself, you know what? It might be small, but it's interesting. It was absolutely delightful. So my first mini doll review then for the channel, and it's this dude here, Boone. And he's of course the captain of the Shrimp Emporium. Now he's quite, this trendy hairstyle, which I have to say I do like now, considering it's black, which is, you know, a very absorbing color. Look at the way it kind of refracts and uh, reflects all the light there that bounces off it, making it look really texturized. It's a really, really nice hairpiece. And of course, he may be a mini doll, but these hair pieces do fit mini figures as well. I have to say as well, from the side profile, I think it looks pretty good as well, doesn't it? Anyway, so around the front, of course, on his face, uh, we've got that kind of cheeky little grin going on there and uh, a slightly raised eyebrow as well and then wide-eyed brown eyes that he's got as well. He's got a nice pigmentation as well with the skin and then down on his torso, he's kind of got this sleeveless vest uh, that he's wearing that kind of looks like it's kind of all held together using a string belt and that print continues as well quite nicely round to the back there. You can see that knot there just above his trouser line. And then I said, actually, I called them trousers. They, they're actually, well, they are kind of trousers, but they're those sort of trousers that kind of pin up as well so that you can wear them as shorts in days when it's very, very warm. Uh, no rule printing going on there on the front, but on the right side of his knee, you've got a bit of knee patchwork going on there. And he also comes wearing shoes as well. So this is Sisu then, and she's actually my favorite of the two mini dolls that come with this set. And she actually has two striking features. One, of course, is this map of Kumandra that she actually holds. Let me just pop that off there and just show you this for a quick moment. Now, not only is it a lovely kind of two by three tile, uh, but you've also got these lovely gold accents on there, not only actually on the map itself, but around the edges of it. Now, if you look very carefully at that map, and look at those waterways, you'll kind of see that they're very, very distinctly a kind of image of a dragon, which I think is really good going. So good work there by Disney. So anyway, back to the minifigure. So the other striking feature, I think is arguably her hair. I mean, wow, that is one heck of a, <laughs> of a lavender hairstyle, isn't it? It's incredible. It kind of reminds me of that character at the Star Wars movie with her kind of lavender purple hair as well. But anyway, uh, I think it looks great. It's a massive piece and look at all the texture and that that is in it as well. I mean, that is a really, really nice mold and what a brilliant, vibrant color as well. And of course, her eyes match her hair. Uh, skin tone as well looks really, really nice as well. I think that all goes really well. It's a really nice clean printing there on the face. And then down at the torso, she's kind of wearing this kind of, I don't know, it's a very long fluffy jacket, but it's of course a bit of a nod as well to her kind of other form that she has as the dragon. And I really like the accents as well. If you can just get the light just right, it kind of picks up these kind of silvery blue accents there in her jacket. And that's kind of continued round the back as well, which of course you can't see because her hair piece is a bit 80s. It's a bit big hair, isn't it? <laughs> but I'll pop that off just so you can see it. And there we go there. It's kind of finished off 
quite nicely there at the back and you can just see it almost looks like um, it almost looks like a very watery design as well which again is another nod uh, to her character as well so anyway let's pop that back on there so this is Diane then and he's kind of one of three kind of primate characters that come with this set. Now I thought at first, I thought this, well, this guy's got to be a monkey, surely. But I thought just for good measure, I'll check on Disney fandom just to see what creature he is. And I had him down as being 100% monkey, but as it happens, he's not. He's half monkey, half catfish. Now I can definitely see all the monkey in him there. Uh, and it looks like he's quite got a real characterful face on him. He looks a bit grumpier than the other two that come with this set, but apparently he's half catfish as well. Now I can only see the part of catfish in him that's really those long whiskers that he's got there. But he kind of, he's very, very cartoony looking. I mean, let's face it, the source material is from a cartoon. But I will say this is really nicely colored and is as well a very nice looking mold of an ongus. So this is Pan, and he's our second ongus that comes in the set. Now, I haven't really got too much I can really say about this. Everything that's needed to be there looks really, really good. It's got a great looking mold, but the actual facial expression on his face is probably that of the most satisfied looking face I think I've ever seen in the whole of any Lego set that I've ever built. So for anyone that thought mini dolls had wide eyes alone, you'd be wrong. You've got this character here as well, the kind of the smallest and by far the cutest out of the Ongis. This is Uka. <laughs> now I think he'd actually give Groku a run for his money in terms of cuteness. I mean, it's like factor 10, isn't it? It really is. Look at those great big, cute looking wide eyes. I mean, he's brilliant. He really is. And that is such a very, very cool looking mold as well. The coloration's all fine. There's nothing at all wrong with the printed. It's very sharp. It's very there. But ultimately, it's very cute. So what did I think of set number 43185? Well, let's start with the positives. The side builds are good. Boone's boat was fun to build, play and display. It's got great shape and it's absolutely bursting with colour. Now we're also introduced to several key characters from the Disney movie, especially those cheeky primates. Now for me, the only real negative is around the price. For me personally, £45 is a bit steep, but £40 is a bit more like it. £35 would be ideal, and especially around that piece count. That said, we do get some large Lego elements and mix that with the Disney license, and you can see why the price is what it is. Now, I really like the set. It's something quite different to what I would normally review, and I have bags of fun building it. But with that in mind, let me know what you think about Boone's Boat down in the description below. And as always, thank you for tuning in. And if you like this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. And if you happen to be new around here, then why not hop on and subscribe and become a big part of the LBB family. I'll leave you now with some videos that I think you might like.